So, hey guys, Tomer here, and welcome to the kingdom of Arcaniana, Nation States. So, this is another one of these Nation States video. Uh, we're a left-leaning college state. We pander to college students. That's our entire thing. We're very left-leaning. Here is our flag, a nice old cross, um, good old, uh, a good old little flower thingy up there, a uh, Byzantine eagle, a little winged snake dragon thing, and a fucking weird gryphon like thing. Whatever. <laughs> We're a World Assembly member, or, you know, pretty much a United Nations member. Uh, largest trout fishing sector, wow. Most cheerful citizens, holy shit. So our civil rights are superb, our political freedom is excellent, we're in a region where power broker, that's our regional influence, our economy is good, we're the Kingdom of Arcaniana. The Kingdom of Arcaniana is a massively environmentally stunning nation, renowned for its compulsory military service, and irreverence towards religion. We have a complete separation between church and state here, we are firm believers of that. The democratic population of uh, one point one what I guess one point yeah one point one billion Arcanianans enjoy extensive civil freedoms particularly social issues while business tends to be more regulated the relatively small government prioritizes defense with education law and order and welfare also on the agenda while international aid and social policy aren't funded at all it needs to discuss matters of the state in the capital city of Anovra the average income tax is 12.9 percent but much higher for the wealthy the Arcanianan economy, worth 58.1 trillion archins a year, is broadly diversified and led by the book publishing industry, with major contributions from trout farming, arms manufacturing, and cheese exports. State-owned companies are reasonably common, average income is 50,338 archins, and evenly distributed with the richest citizens earning only 2.8 times as much as the poorest. The police insist that racism does not exist. Members of parliament operate under pay, whatever that is, scheme. Truth is often impossible to tell from fiction on the evening news. And Red Cross demand for body bags is rising while sutures go unused. Crime, especially youth-related, is well under control, thanks to a capable police force and progressive social policies in education and welfare. Arcania's national animal is the dragon, which soars majestically through the nation's famously clear skies. We've got dragons, guys. Dragons confirmed. So, let's see, uh, we, that rose, yeah, we, we were ranked in the top 10, the Idi Amin for, so, Arginia Anna voted for the Idi Amin for General Secretary of Kalmi in round 3 of the election, the uh, World Assembly election. Uh, Arginia Anna voted for the Potato Nation of the Salaxians in round 3 of the election. And uh, two minutes ago, Arcaniana voted for the World Assembly resolution to condemn Kai Lapis, which is a rather, co it's a big communist threat, that's all I'm going to say. And vote for the World Assembly result to repeal Cyber Cy Security Convention, which, uh, which has a few con which has a few problems, so we had to kind of repeal it, and I'm in favor of that. So let's check the fact books, I wanted to read these to you. Um, so the uh, political map of Arcaniana, now well, this is interesting. So, this political map is this. You see France, you see Germany, you see Austria, you see Liechtenstein, you see uh, Switzerland. Yeah, this is where Arcaniana is. It's a tiny fucking state between Italy and Switzerland, just fucking sandwiched in there. That's Arcaniana. Uh, let's check the other fact books, uh, just to give you some more information on the country that I made up. Serbian population's religion. Religion. None. 40%. See, we don't have a lot of people who believe. Belief in a higher force, spirit, or being, but not from holy pieces of writing. 5%. Christianity. 53%. Um, that's 21% Catholic, 24% Protestant, 52% Calvinist, and 3% Orthodox. Islam. 1%. 98% of those being Sunni, and 2% being Shia, and other 1%. And let's check out the uh, history of the nation, the brief history of Arcaniana. So, 1234 ACE, uh, ACE, by the way, is the same as uh, um, 
not BC, AD. Yeah, it's the same as AD. It's just a more scientific type of thing. I made it to I I wrote AC because I want to look I want to make it look more official. Uh, creation of the nation by Duke Gerard de Courtenay, based on the provinces he was given as a gift by the King of France. 1267, country enters the Holy Roman Empire. 1528, Protestantism is fiercely persecuted by the local authorities. 1600, Calvinism rises after persecution is over. 1806, dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire, country becomes fully independent after almost 600 years. 1807, country conquered by Napoleon, royal family flees to Spain. 1808, royal family flees to Great Britain after the Napoleonic invasion of Spain. 1815, country restored after Napoleon's defeat. 1839, constitution adopted, constitutional monarchy. 1916, country joins the Entente against the Central Powers, World War I. 1940, fascist Italy invades and occupies the country, World War II. 1943, country is liberated. 2000, country transitions from constitutional monarchy to UK-style democracy. Democracy with royal family, nobility, and titles. 2007, country joins the EU. Uh, it's a fascinating story. I know, I know. Um, so let's look at the people. Let's look at our people. What, what are our peeps doing? Uh, and then we're going to get to the issues. So most people, 80.6% of the population die of old age. 10.7% die from heart disease. 4.9% die from murder, and 3.8% are lost in wilderness. That's that's fantastic. Government. Um, defense is 35.8% of the budget. Education is 18.9%. Environment, 6.3%. Healthcare, 2.1%. Industry, 2.1%. Law and for law and order, fourteen point seven percent. Public transport, four point four percent, four point two percent. Welfare, uh, ten point five percent, and administration, five point three percent. Fourteen point five percent of G of GDP, eight point forty five trillion argins, uh, and that's our government expenditure, our economy. Government 14%, black market 0.4%, uh, private industry 78.3%. What the fuck is that, man? What the fuck is that? State-owned industry 6.8%. All right, ranking strength. I don't really give a shit. Uh, let's go to the issues. All right. Military uniforms under scrutiny. Hmm, that's rather interesting. In response to changing fashion trends among the youth of Arcaniana, new recruits to the military have, pet have petitioned the government to update the ar arms, army's dress code accordingly. Permission to speak, sir, as Private Third Class Stephanie Hanover. Oh, Hanover! Yeah, that's, that's the last name, actually, in my country. Saluting you. Many of us are tired of looking the same and would like the freedom to express ourselves through our appearance, sir. I mean, sir, it doesn't hurt to let us dye our hair once in a while, does it? The fuck, man? Where did I get these advertisements from? Jesus. Goldbrides.com <laughs> This ridiculous rose col colonel colonel. Is that how it's pronounced? I think it's yeah, colonel. Or colonel. I don't know. Uh Zach Steele shaking his fist at you. If I tell a soldier to put on pantaloons and a tunic, there's good reason for it, and I expect to be obeyed without question. What are these soldiers demanding change anyways? I'd like to see them court-martial. Jesus Christ, dude, relax. You know, murmurs romantic novelist Ethan Hahn, dr dreamily staring out of the window. Oh, the, this guy must be me. A change of uniform might not be too bad. What if we made all our soldiers wear medieval suits of armor? You could sure highlight the shit. <laughs> the chivalry in honor of Arcanian's armed forces. I called it. I called it. This guy's me. Actually, battle armor is a great idea, exclaims Jennifer McKay, representative from Better Future Inc. Dumping a bundle of papers on your desk. Here are blueprints for the latest battles we've come up with. Sure, it will be costly, but it will make our soldiers invincible. The solution is not through technology, but through religion. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Declares Zelot Beth Chicago. Chicago? Okay, okay. As she uh, waves a sensor under your nose. Why don't we make our soldiers fight in the name of a major religion and give them priestly robes while they're at it? Yeah, yeah. Let's make them more Catholic priests. Fucking Calvinists. Why make them wear anything as nudists? 
<laughs> Elaine Newman. Standing to attention in your office. Without clothes to impede them, your soldiers can move faster in battle and don't have to waste any money on uniforms. Said all you need is a gun to kill someone, right? <laughs> yeah, you also need something to protect you, but whatever. Uh, I don't, I, I don't want to agree with that. I don't want to wear uh, suits of armor. Uh, I don't want to stay in the same uh, thing, but yeah, I don't want to have battle suits either. You know what I'm in between these two? I don't want religion. <laughs> And I don't want them to not wear anything. You know what? Yeah. Let's pretend that's not medieval suits of armor. And let's pretend that's just 19th century uh, clothing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see the... Oh, I didn't see the recent headlines. Damn it. God damn it. It's lagging. To bail or not to bail? Hmm, that's going to be an interesting topic. Well, that's fucking lagging. Why the fuck is it lagging so much? Jesus. Jesus, so much lag. Man, that online lag. <laughs> if anybody got that fucking reference, that, I mean, thank you. Honestly, just thank you. A recent severe crash. Oh, shit. In the stock market. God damn it. Fucking stock markets, man. Arcane, uh, of Arcanian and a plummet of the value of the arch and has brought the issue of uh, government bailouts to the forefront of the, its national agenda. We need to do something now. The people's welfare, not to mention all my side businesses, are in serious danger. Screams of Finance Minister Stephanie Barry. We need an extensive... Uh, th is he called Barry? Wait. Max Barry. Aye, of course. I knew it. See, I knew it. We need an extensive support program for the businesses that make our, c our country great again. <laughs> yeah, they, they make our country great again. Otherwise, we might as well just join the rank with those third world countries, man. Who? Never mind that all the businesses on this list are owned by my relatives. You're talking about that? You're talking about w doing what? No, sorry. I, I couldn't read. Just I couldn't fucking read. Screams Lars Plath. P Plath? A noted fiscal conservative and libertarian scholar. Government bailouts won't solve anything. They only redistribute wealth to those that the government happens to favor at the uh, particular moment while Placing crushing burden onto one anyone else, the government must instead cut taxes across the board and act on necessary social programs, particularly our welfare system. Ah, uh, of course, of course, of course. What did they expect? Noted fiscal conservative. Uh, of course. This brings up an interesting point. Remarks socialist author. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Don't do that. Why do we allow businesses to become too big to fail? It's ensure is to break up businesses before the resources society that threaten our economy. Imagine it. Community-based businesses run for the benefit of the little people and not faceless money grabbing. No, fuck your, f fuck your goddamn communism. We're gonna do this. We're gonna bail them out. Why not? You know, if we can, just bail out the fuckers. I forgot to check it again. God damn it. Uh... Free internet for Arcaniana. Let's see that. Let's, let's look at that. After receiving four-digit internet bills, the people of Arcaniana are demanding that a free internet service be made for the go... What the fuck happened? God damn it, why is it lagging so much? What did I do? The only way to ensure internet neutra neutrality in Arcaniana is to place the internet under government control. Jesus Christ! Opines Falala Gutenberg, Minister of Telecommunications. My ministry has been trying to reel in the unfair practice of these companies for ages, and now public sentiment is on our side. With an internet free of uh, with an internet free of premium access and content discrimination, Kenya will be the envy of the EU. Unfortunately, since providing free access would be enormously expensive, we'll have to increase taxes slightly. But isn't that a small price to pay? Mm. High school principal Larry Hernandez says the last time I checked, one of the purposes of the Arcanian government was to provide a decent education for our children. More and more children turn to online services as a way to accelerate their schooling. Online courses offer a wide range of education in academics and work related skills, but not all my students have the internet. There were certain non -com uh, certainly no commercial incentive to lay down lines in the farmland. The government needs to step in and provide free internet for those students. Invest in our future. Any other options? Yeah, one more. Or, or even more. 
Are there even more options? Oh, that's the last one, right? Ah, god damn it. Oh, for the love of Violet! Bemoans conservative communist. I was gonna say conservative communist. <laughs> conservative communist, guys, you heard it here. Uh, but yeah, bemoans conservative columnist, not communist. Erica Park. The government has pro proven time and time again it destroys everything it touches. Do you want your internet to be slow? Do you want to be taxed up the wa the wazoo? Thanks to government inefficiency, I sure don't. Just let the market handle this for once. Oh, you're at it. Take the money you would have used on this useless invader and use give your citizens a well-deserved tax refund instead. Considering the absurd regulations we have to put up with, it's no wonder we have to change so much for internet services. Marlon Dupont of Arcaniana Speedy Internet Co. Marlon Dupont, I like that name. Nice name. That nice name, dude, dudette, whatever. God damn it. I need some so I'm back with my water and I hope that any of our uh, frame rate issues have been fixed. I think they have, yeah. Look at this, look at this. It's, it's all running all right. So, do you want your, the, yeah, 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 considering the, yeah, go, uh, safety guidelines, minimum access mandates, if the government would get rid of all these allegations, we would lay down a lines for less arches and pass the savings down to the consumer. This problem is our fault, it's yours. Now, that's an interesting point. Dismiss the issue. You know what? I don't... I don't really... God damn it. Animal experimentation laws under scrutiny. Hmm. Let's look at that. Scientists and animal rights activists have on, uh, once again brought up the debate over animal ex experimentation to your attention. What have these poor defenseless animals ever done to us? Asks Sue Anna and James, owner of the East Arcaniana Dragon Sanctuary. Kidnapping these helpless creatures from their habitat simply to stick probes and needles in them is just barbaric. How would you like it if someone caged you in a lab and conducted tests on you just to find out whether a new product was fit for sale? Experimenting on animals ought to be banned. It is not, al it is not unethical, replies. Okay, replies. Dr. Alexei Utopia, the chief surgeon at Arcanian's largest cancer research cleaning. The unethical thing to do would be to deny the public of the benefit of great scientific advancement we're making. If we have to sacrifice some animals in the name of science, healthcare or, commer or commercial virtue, then that's just what we have to do. Think of the lives we could save. All, all we require is more government support and funding for this worthy cause. I agree with you, dude. 100% agree with you. If it's for science, it's for goddamn science, you know? School bus chess is too passive. Old woman waits in vain for help crossing the road. Jesus. Engine room of, e econo of economy ticking over nicely. Alright, issues. God damn it, the fucking frame rate is added again. God damn. Don't damn our rivers, damn it. <laughs> I, I got the pun there. I, I got the pun there, you little cheeky bastard. A group of Greenpeace protesters have called uh, for an end to government proposal to begin damming rivers in Arcania and to increase water supplies and generate en energies. Don't build dams, said protesters Larry Dubois, through a microphone heavily afflicted with feedback. Do you know how many fish die in our other dams in a region each year? Have you heard of the advanced effects? Building a dam has on the surrounding environment. Damn up this full of this flood of dams, damn it. Damn up this flood of dams, damn it. I, I love I love this guy. Just Jesus. That, that's amazing. Think before you open your mouth, says engineer oh. Think before you open your mouth. Says engineer Erica Liberty. Oh shit. Nice last name. Liberty. Hey guys, I'm Thomas. Thomas Liberty. Thomas Liberty. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic last name. It, it, it sounds like the name of like some American propaganda poster for like World War Two or some shit, or like I don't know, a fucking invasion of Iraq or something. Here comes John Liberty, the superhero that everyone loves. Well, our Kenyan may have to pay the price in animal diversity, as well as ad adverse effects on the environment. Do you really want fossil fuel based plants polluting our Kenyana? If you use your common sense, I think you'll find that damming some rivers would be a good idea. Just think of how much the economy would benefit from all the jobs these projects would create. I mean, Jesus, you stupid peasant. I'm siding with this woman. Alright, notice this. Alright. Lemonade stand children accused of price fixing. <laughs> what the fuck? Forest right for plunder. Profit. Incomes rising, economist says. Nice. Retirement problem solving itself, common economist says. Fantastic. Let's see our notices. What notices do we have? Arcanian again to banners, high density culture and hiking. Uh, we have a bunch of telegrams, back to the country. I think we're gonna end the episode here, but I don't know, let's let's look at the country and then decide that. God damn it. God damn it, it's it's loading. It's pissing me off because it's so slow. So goddamn slow. You know what? You know what guys, fuck this. I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. This problems have to be solved. Ah, uh, I don't know what's going on. Alright, it's loaded. Oh, of course. Of course it is. So let's look at this. Following new uh, following new legislation, Arcanian troops crying in battle wearing antique suits of armor. Following new legislation in Arcaniana, the government is spending billions of taxpayer arches to support struggling industries. Following new legislation in Arcaniana, several citizens have complained about scientists abducting their pets for experimentation. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Following new le uh, uh, legislation in Arcaniana, scenic mountain valleys are flooded with water as damming projects get underway. Oh.